hello and welcome in this video I'm not making anything so if you're not interested in a workshop tour and a bit of chatting about what's going on here I suggest you to skip this video and come back next week or better just watch some of my other project videos thank you so more or less six months ago I moved into this new workshop and I told you something about that in other video that I will try to link somewhere here and yeah since then I moved in pretty much all of my tools and they didn't have like a precise plan on where to put what so everything pretty much just fell into place as I was using them to make projects so so far I'm pretty happy with the position of some stuff and not so much with others so I think I will just continue to move stuff around until I'm happy with everything. So, this is my workshop. It's 3 meters by 6 meters and it has only one door right here and the other wall on this side is just a big window and it's great for light but this summer has been very very hot in here on the floor i've used some eva foam tiles to protect the real tiles underneath and they work great and it's nice on the feet but but as you can see they're getting very dirty already because it's hard to clean and they also don't like heat so if you drop something hot it will burn a hole and by welding on them these platters of the welds really heats up these mats so that's why you see all these little holes everywhere anyway I do most of the work for my projects on this workbench and to film I just use a tripod like it's usually right there and is all the way up pointing down on the table on this side I have this big wall tool holder that I got from a store selling construction tools so it's nice and solid and it holds the tool that I use the most frequently and here is pretty much all of my handheld power tools in the boxes and up here I have even more tools that I use less frequently so they are up here and out of the way these cabinets here are set up just like in my old workshop so I keep everything for casting here paint, solvents and all this stuff here and here is just a mess with all the electronic stuff that I pretty much never use on the top I have the heat treating oven, hardening oil, my lovely rosa drill press a metal cutting bench saw and the tool that I use the most the 2x72 belt grinder I built almost 3 years ago on here I keep different boxes for materials like wood for knives handle, all the stuff for resin work, all the stuff for lost wax casting and mold making and so on. And of course I need to keep belts near the grinder so I hang them on here to swap them out easily. Also down here is the air compressor and the cart with some consumables for the angle grinder and so on. Finally, on the last wall here you can see a tool chest that I don't really know if it's a tool chest or not but it's old and decently strong so I use it to keep it some of the more delicate tools that I don't want dust to get over them all of the time. On the top here I keep a small swivel vise, the small shear and the arbor press. And on this side there are two IKEA libraries that I used to keep more consumables, oil, sandpaper and yeah it's a bit unorganized but it's still nice to have some shelving to organize everything. Last but not least I have three other very used tools, the high anvil, a nice big vise for the heavy work and the metal lathe. And yes I know it makes no sense on this pallet but uh, that's how I got it in here and yeah I need some help to take it down to end this video I want to show you two old tools that I got just recently a bench grinder from the 50s maybe not really sure because I can't read the tag and I haven't done any research on that yet 
and this super nice wood lathe made in 1912 that is in very very good condition and it came with all kind of chucks, motors, belts and everything you need to run it. So if you watch this far I want to ask you what you think I should get back to use first. The bench grinder will be more work because I need to replace bearing and I also like to paint it nice and new. The lathe on the other hand just needs a bit of cleaning and assembly. I think nothing more because it already runs super nice and smooth. So that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the workshop tour and I'm very very curious to hear what you think about these videos since it's so different from what I usually do. So please feel free to leave your feedback in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next week. Bye!